In today's video of Sports Nutrition Made Simple, we're going to go over maltodextrin, which is an absolute powerhouse for energy and sports performance. We've previously talked about glucose and how it's so important, and maltodextrin is more of that sweet, sweet goodness. Although, in itself, maltodextrin isn't actually sweet. Two glucose molecules linked together are called maltose, and three glucose molecules or more are called maltodextrin, and it doesn't matter how many more glucose molecules are in that chain. This is why you might see companies write that their products contain different chain length maltodextrins. Maltodextrin is broken down into individual glucose molecules in your intestines, and so just like glucose, most adults can consume between 40 to 80 grams of it per hour whilst exercising. Now, maltodextrin might actually be better than glucose when it comes to sports performance, and that's because maltodextrin contributes to a lower osmolarity compared to glucose. If you aren't sure what that means, then make sure you check out the video which I did on hypertonic, hypotonic, and isotonic drinks, which is part of the Sport Nutrition Made Simple playlist. But in short, compared to glucose, maltodextrin should exit the stomach quicker, meaning that it gets broken down and then absorbed at a faster rate than glucose. Whether this is actually significant isn't that clear, but it might contribute to a lower risk of tummy upset during exercise. And it will be one of the reasons why companies like Morton and Science and Sport use maltodextrin in their products instead of glucose. So that's it for our quick maltodextrin run through. If you found this video useful, please do give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and check out the Sports Nutrition Made Simple playlist.